Now we're doing from 8.2 number 4 online, which is 15 in the textbook. And so what we have is integral of t natural log of t plus 5, so natural log of t plus 5 dt. We're going to integrate that. And we're going to use integration by parts. Now it's tempting to say that, that the u would be t because in du it would you know, start going away. However, integrating natural log of t plus 5 is a real problem. So in this we're going to have to say that our u is going to be the natural log of t plus 5, which means that our du would be 1 over t plus 5. Our dv, we'll have to call that t dt, which means that v would be the integral of t dt, which is going to be t squared over 2. So that turns this into, remember that's integral of u dv equals uv minus integral of v du. So that the integral of t natural log of t plus 5 dt becomes uv, or u is uh, natural log of t plus 5 times v, and v we said is just going to be t squared over 2 minus what? Integral of v, which is going to be t squared over 2 du, and du was 1 over t plus 5 dt. I should call this, put a dt with this one. Okay. So let's take a look at this, uh, this integral part. Let me rewrite this one more time. This is going to be the natural log of, in fact, let me back this up. Call this t squared over 2 natural log of t plus 5 minus 1 half, pull that 1 half out, integral of t squared over t plus 5 dt. Now we can evaluate this. It's going to take a few steps to get there. First thing we want to do is maybe simplify this. The power on top is more than the power down below. So we could treat this as, you know, do t plus 5 goes into t squared plus, plus 0t plus 0. And t times what is t squared? It's going to be t So t times t is t squared. t times 5 is 5t. Subtracting, so I'm going to do this subtraction here. t squared minus t squared is nothing. 0t minus 5t is negative 5t plus 0. t times what's negative 5t? It's going to be negative 5. So negative 5 times t is negative 5t. Negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. So we're going to end up with negative 5t minus negative 5t is nothing. 0 minus, put this here and there. So this negative goes all the way through. 0 minus negative 25 is 25. And this gives us the result that t squared over t plus 5 is equal to t minus 5 plus 25 over t plus 5. So we had t squared over 2 natural log of t plus 5 minus 1 half integral of was a t minus 5 plus 25 over t plus 5 dt. Okay. 
So it's t squared over 2. Natural log of t plus 5 minus 1 half times what? Well, that becomes t squared over 2 minus 5t plus, and 25 just a coefficient, 1 over t plus 5 is natural log of the absolute value of t plus 5 plus our c. And so, we can play with this a little bit more just to move things around. We have t squared over 2, natural log of t plus 5, minus 1 half of, well, 1 half of t squared, let's call that 1 fourth of t squared. So then it's minus 1 half times minus 5t, so plus 5 halves t minus 1 half times 25 natural log t plus 5, that's going to be minus 1 half 25 natural log of t plus 5. So you're probably thinking, why don't you just call it 25 halves? And plus our c. Because now this natural log t plus 5 occurs twice, and we can factor that out to give us t squared over 2 minus, let me do this way instead, hang on. I can pull one half out, one half natural log of t plus 5 times what? t squared from the first part, and then that 25 from the last part, minus 25. We have minus 1 fourth t squared, and then plus 5 halves t plus c. You can go one step further if you would like. You could factor a one-fourth out of the whole thing. It's your call. And one-fourth, and we have parenthesis, natural log of t plus 5 times t squared minus 25. And then pull the one-fourth out, so it's minus t squared. If I'm going to be factoring one-fourth out of 5 halves, it's going to be basically multiplying it by 4, so it becomes 10t plus c. So there you go. Hope that makes sense.